This is how to learn cybersecurity as a beginner and actually find a job. So I know for a lot of you guys, the starting isn't necessarily the hardest part, but the hardest part is when you're actually ready to go into the job search, maybe applying to tens of hundreds of jobs and not hearing anything back. Or in my opinion, what feels even worse is not being able to pass the interview portions for a cybersecurity entry level role. So if this is something that you're currently going through, I completely understand where you're coming from. So hopefully this video will give you insight into step-by-step step the things that you can do to help increase your chances of successfully getting that first job in cybersecurity. First things first, most important thing is the way that you're learning. Personally, if you're a beginner or you don't have any real world experience yet, what you should be focusing on in this stage is project-based and hands-on learning. So maybe you've taken a few online courses, maybe you've gone through a few labs, maybe you've read through a few hacking walkthroughs. But as an employer, what I would be looking for specifically on your resume is any security-based projects that you're working on, any challenges that you've completed on Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, any capture the flags that you've been a part of. Are you part of your local b-side group you have a website where you post hacking walkthroughs yourself what are the hands-on projects that you're working on whatever area of cybersecurity that you're interested in whether it's the red team side the blue team side a team in between maybe you're interested in IT auditing and governance whatever it is there are ways to create a personal project around that and I think that's one of the most important places to start because it also shows to employers that you're proactive enough to be able to work on something to be able to work on a passion project or a side project and this also in the end gives you something to talk about during your interview so that you're able to walk through a problem that you face how you work through it, the solution that you found, and basically shows what it would be like to work with you on an actual cybersecurity team. And this is especially important, in my opinion, for entry-level roles in cybersecurity, like a security analyst or an SOC analyst role. So once you have that hands-on experience or project-based experience on your resume, another great option is to look into cybersecurity programs. I would recommend checking out the Simply Learn Postgraduate Program in Cybersecurity if you haven't already. This is a great program for anyone who is just getting started without any prior experience in cybersecurity. And because it's in partnership with MIT, this is definitely really going to level up your resume, especially when employers are comparing against different candidates who may all come from different backgrounds and levels of experience. So for those of you who are looking to get started in a career in cybersecurity, I'd recommend checking out the Simply Learn Postgraduate Program in Cybersecurity. The Simply Learn Postgraduate Program in Cybersecurity is one of the world's top cybersecurity programs with an average of 100 plus enrollments in every batch. Simply Learn has built a program in collaboration with MIT, Schwarzman College of Computing, and EC Council. This postgraduate program in cybersecurity is designed to equip you with the skills required to become an expert in the rapidly growing field of cybersecurity, and the program duration is for six months. It was also chosen as the best cybersecurity program in 2022 by Course Report. And I think one of the most important things to call out here is cybersecurity industry trends. Based on cyber ventures, by 2026, there will be 3.5 million unfilled cybersecurity jobs internationally with 700,000 available job roles today and the average annual salary of about $100,000 per year. This is also one of the reasons why I think cybersecurity is such a good career to go into, especially because joining a program like this will be able to help you kickstart your career in just a few months where you can come in as a complete beginner and leave with a completed certification with a real hands-on experience, learning foundational cybersecurity concepts, working on hands-on projects, and have a much higher learning potential than most roles in and outside of tech as an entry-level beginner. They also have various different learner reviews listed on their platform with roles in security architecture and tech consulting. There's no prior experience required to enroll in this course and any graduate can enroll in this program. Program. The program leverages MIT's academic excellence in cybersecurity and provides a comprehensive understanding of the field with various different courses featuring modules from the MIT Schwarzman College of Computing and EC Council, as well as master classes from MIT faculty. You'll have a chance to work on 25 hands-on projects, as well as have access to modules from EC Council and have access to CEH learning material. The top alumni from Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity include Google, Amazon, Microsoft, IBM, LinkedIn, JP Morgan. At the end of this program, you'll also receive an EC Council learning kit and exam voucher, as well as six months free access to CHI Labs, plus 25 hacking challenges from the EC Council that'll give you really good experience as someone who is just getting started in cybersecurity. Skills covered include ethical hacking, risk management, advanced hacking concepts, as well as mobile and web technologies. You can check out their admissions process where you can pay via monthly installments with various payment options with low APR and no hidden fees for as low as $264 a month. You can fill in your details to learn more about the program and speak directly with one of their career counselors to learn more about their admissions process and the program itself. So if you guys are interested in checking out the Simply Learn postgraduate program in cybersecurity, you can use my code Sandra10 for 10% off. You can also learn more about the program itself linked in my description below. Thank you to 
Simply Learn for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to the rest of the topics. So on top of the cybersecurity program, I really think something else that is really important is a cybersecurity certification. Personally, I highly recommend studying for the CompTIA Security Plus certification. This is the certification that I studied for when I was in my first job in a cybersecurity rotational program and I studied for this while working full time. So for those of you who are currently students in a different sector or just trying to get your foot in the door in cybersecurity, I really think that you should take your time to sit down and study for your Security Plus certification or an equivalent security certification. Another popular one is the GIAC GSEC certification or their Security Essentials certification. I would say these two are probably one of the most popular certifications out there for entry level cybersecurity professionals. And these are also the certifications that employers are going to be looking for in their candidates. So if you look at any entry level cybersecurity role out there, it likely pretty high chance is going to say something is going to ask for some kind of preferred or required qualification for a job around your CompTIA Security Plus or your GIAC GSEC certification. I don't want to say that it's something that gets your foot in the door, but it really does open up a lot of opportunities when employers are comparing candidates again, and they're really just, and you're really just comparing against who has what qualifications, who has what certifications, what kinds of projects are on their resume, what, did they graduate from boot camp, did they graduate from a degree program. So your goal right now is to make sure your resume is as impressive as possible so that you're able to stand out to employers and then be able to get passed on to that interview stage of the job search process. And one key thing that I want to know here is that you don't have to be 100% picky in the first job that you get into in cybersecurity. In fact, it may not even need to be a cybersecurity role. You can start out as a sysadmin, you can start out as an IT help desk role, an IT specialist role. You don't have to start out as a security analyst or an SOC analyst role. In fact, I think getting that experience on your resume for that first role, even if it may not be titled exactly as a security analyst, there are still many aspects of an IT professional's job that pertains back to cybersecurity, whether it's access management, dealing with network controls and authentication, whether it's physical or virtual security, dealing with VPNs, firewalls, all this stuff really does tie back to cybersecurity. And so I really wouldn't close the door on, on also looking at IT specialists or IT help desk roles on top of your search for a security analyst role and just doing it at the same time because personally, I think it's a great place to start, especially if you're going into a competitive job market. All right, so once you have everything on your resume, once you've enrolled in a cybersecurity program, maybe you've passed your security plus certification, maybe you've already been on the job search. Well, next up, I really think is, is to attend a career conference. Personally, this is the one I advocate for the most and it is a great topper conference. Conference. It is specifically for women in technology, but there are many conferences out there that are open to anyone. There are some conferences that are open specifically to minority groups. So I would really look out there and see what is best suited for you. But attending a conference is how I got my first internship as well as my first full-time job out of college. And it is way, way better than applying online to jobs. I really think that meeting an employer or recruiter potentially even hiring managers in person at a hiring event is so much more memorable. Submitting an application online and then maybe never hearing back, which is really the worst case scenario. So I'd really take your time to research the tech conferences that are upcoming that are upcoming this year. And I know some of the tickets can be expensive, but, but trust me, I really think that it's worth it. Whether you're a current student or currently working, because it just saves you so much time and gets you directly in front of an employer compared to just sending out applications and not knowing when you're going to hear back. Plus, some conferences also have on-site interviews, on-site offers, and they may have specific applications that you can submit your resume to, apply online to, that aren't the publicly facing ones that anyone could apply to. So this is much more of a shortlist application that you can apply for, where your resume could be at the front of the line to get reviewed. And not to mention the networking, the opportunities to find mentors, the opportunity to attend different career talks and sessions. It really is just a great place to go if you're currently in the job market. All right, next thing is, is interview prep. So I have made many videos on interview prep on my channel. So I'll link two or three of those videos down in my description. I would highly recommend checking those out specifically on the topics to study for, the types of questions to expect, format of the questions, which personally I think is really tricky, especially for cybersecurity where there could be hundreds of different topics or questions that could be asked of you and, and it's really hard to know what to expect, especially if this is your first time around preparing for cybersecurity interviews. But as part of your interview prep, I highly recommend just going through some cybersecurity news and trends. This I think is definitely an underrated way of studying for interviews because first of all, it gives you a lot of knowledge into what the current hacks are, what the current APTs that companies are talking about, even better bonus points if let's say you're studying to go into an interview for a finance company, search up all the APTs that finance companies are being targeted by. I'm sure you can find a lot of cybersecurity news on this specifically, and it'll really, really impress your interviewer that you may know this information when maybe they don't know it, or maybe that's something they're currently tracking. 
either way it's a great way to share that information that you know and be able to explain it in a way where where they can experience what it would be like to work with you as a co-worker and personally i think it's definitely one of your superpowers if you're able to keep up with cybersecurity news because Honestly, I don't think many people do, especially especially teams outside of the cyber threat intelligence and just the overall intelligence teams. And one more thing to know, I highly recommend looking into cybersecurity rotation programs. This is actually where I started my cybersecurity career. I didn't apply directly into a security analyst role. I actually applied for a rotation program where I was able to try out a few different jobs in a two year time span. And, and personally, I think that was the best way for me to learn and grow, as well as be able to have options on which teams that you get to join that you want to join based on your skill set and what you've been most interested in working on. So basically just cast a very wide net and be open to different roles in cybersecurity and not even only in cybersecurity, but also in IT, sysadmin roles, specialist roles, help desk roles, etc. And if you guys are interested in getting into cybersecurity, definitely check out the Simply Learn postgraduate program made in partnership with MIT, linked in my description below. You can also get 10% off the entire tuition cost using my code SANDRA10. And your next cohort does start soon. So if you're interested, I would definitely take a look. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.